Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Talking Soon. It's a Gaethje here. Welcome. For this video, um, I just want to touch upon the current issue that is happening in Nigeria now. <sighs> How many times will we have to deal with kidnappers in life? You know, like I've been wanting to talk about this for some time, but I just haven't got the time, courage, and space to talk about it. But it's just good to talk about social issues like this. How many times can people be kidnapped so much? One of the key things that makes people kidnap is, I don't know, it's just the disorganization of the country and its political system and government system. And I wonder if the government can actually handle a political system like Nigeria. Because it's very, very weird that every single year, it's almost becoming like every six months, we hear another kidnapping from another boarding school in the north part of, northern part of Nigeria. And now we also hear a lot about killing in the southeast part of Nigeria by people from the northern part of Nigeria. Honestly, it's just getting really ridiculous. Ridiculous. Honestly. Let's, let's, let's analyze the boarding school kidnapping. So whenever you hear about this, it's almost like <laughs> it's like the bandits, that's, the, that's their best targets because those children are harmless. They are uh, what's it called exposed and they have they are weak they are vulnerable to so say and one of the things i just wonder is that for those that are kidnapping these people how about if they are your children would you kidnap them and ask for that ransom uh, did you watch the news um not there is a program that the bbc was showing and um i've forgotten the name of it but it's about the kidnapping that is going on in the um in that states of kasena uh, kaduna Kanu, listen, Niger, and like honestly, I understand there is poverty in various areas in Nigeria, but let's be honest here, it's not in every place. Therefore, you can migrate yourself to go and find a job in the big city than joining people that don't want the progress of the country. I'm just addressing to those that are bandits in this situation. I understand there is so many political and social things that perhaps leads people to this type of lifestyle. But I'm just trying to encourage you here that, listen, you know there is something that they say, even though there is lack of petrol and there is still a hold up, that means there is something there that everyone can still get. Just be part of the line because there must be something that you get for yourself. So what am I saying? Please stop this. You are leaving these children psychologically damaged before they can even recognize who they are. You are leaving them, what's it called, physically um, damaged because some of them already get to have children from, from you. You are They are raped. They are physically damaged because according to they sleep on the floor. They see various things. You put guns on their head. Think of it, if it's your child, would you want your child to experience such a thing? Now, you may wonder, why why, why then do these people keep going to boarding school um, if they know that it's very risky? Because, I mean, as the girl said, they we're not going to stop our education. And, you know, at the point I was even wondering, maybe we should subscribe the whole boarding school system. Then I had to realize one thing. Nigeria is not like, for example, I live in Britain. It's not like Britain. Na they, because of the landscape, for you to go to school, a very good school to say, or even a good school, you actually somehow would require to live in a boarding school. And that's why you see almost half of Nigerians have lived in boarding school. Because the distance of travel is like you telling me that because of the good school, you can come in, like your state, most sometimes a state is like this, um, London and Birmingham combined together even including the entire britain can be a state in nigeria <laughs> not britain entire england to say can be a whole state because of the landscape so if the school is now in london you're not going to wake up every day to go to london to go to school now okay so it makes sense that's why there are so many boarding schools because it helps to house the children that are going to go to that school and so that they can First of all, take out this, the parents can take out the stress of taking children to school. Two, they can take out from the hustle and bustle that comes with traveling. Three, they can also take out the, um, I guess the, I don't know, what would you call it? 
It's mostly transportation issue, really. But it also helps to save money, to be honest. Because if they are in boarding school, they are being fed. They have their peers around them. They grow up with their peers. So there is a lot of positive things that comes with living in boarding school. So one of the things that I just keep thinking to myself, when would this stop? When would the government actually do something about this? When would they start improving the economic of, economy of Nigeria? Many people are running away from Nigeria because of the poor economic state that it is right now. <laughs> it is so in a poor state that many people are literally in fact if there is a flight it's an evacuation flight that is evacuating i bet half of nigeria will just run away from nigeria and not because it is a bad place to live it's because of the lack of um government system that don't want to improve the country So parents, honestly, one of the worst things about the whole thing is that parents can waste the whole money schooling. I, I call it waste because the amount of money that they needed to school their children is doubled because of strikes, because of issues with the government system not working as they should. So please, I think even to stop the kidnapping, the consistent kidnapping is almost like, listen, I'm speaking like... <laughs> It is almost like a daily, they almost soon it will become a daily living. That every single day you wake up from the news, there has been another kidnapping. Both boys and girls. This is not right and this is not fair. Please, I don't know who the education minister is. I beg you, if there is anything that we can do to help ease this, that would be good. The military of defense, please, anyone. Because I'm tired. I mean, every time I see some of these girls come out, the first thing that goes into my mind is the, men the psychological damage, the fear. But you know one thing about Nigerians, you know. Ha! This is one of the reasons why I love ourselves. We are resilient. We, resi we are so resilient. And you know those children will still come out on the top in every situation that you place them on. Because they have had to learn to build on that resilience. All their lives how can you be sleeping and someone just come and catch you like that anyways and to the girls and to the boys that have been gone through that have gone through this listen if you can whenever you can even if the flashback comes back because this thing is called trauma that's what it's called traumatic events in your life Please, if you want, speak to someone about it. I'm not going to go and tell you to go and seek for a psychological help because I know in Nigeria, those psychological help are only like from the rich people. So I'm telling you, please speak to someone. If you need to go, what has happened? Don't let it quieten you down because there is one I saw. Nah, uh, she over. Anyways, it makes it just let the girl almost like dumbfounded. Speak to someone so that it doesn't eat you up. Seek for help. Because even that talking is a talking therapy in itself. Okay? Even with your peers that it has happened, if you have to sit down and share your stories and what you guys are going through, do so. And for you guys that continue to say no, these people are not going to stop us from getting our education in and helping to improve our lives. My dear, my kudos to you. Continue. Okay? There are people that are supporting you. People like me. Continue. May God help us all. And may God help Nigeria. And may the Nigerian government help itself to try and become better. Amen? Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Signing off. Talk on soon.